Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss a few more features about JCPP edit. So let's start with a simple C file. So in order to create a new file, go to file menu, then new file. From the file menu dialog box that comes up, choose C file and then type the file name as PROJECT1, project1 and then click create. As you can see, a new file has been created where I have been provided with the basic template containing the important header files and the main function. And this is a universal feature of the software uh, applicable to all languages where you will be provided with the common initial elements beforehand. So you just need to write the main code and nothing else. So now I am going to write a simple program for addition of two numbers but before that I need to change the background color as it's too much bright. So I need to go to settings and then environment. Over here I have got an option called editor color scheme. From here I can choose from different colors like black, brown, blue, cobalt, grey etc. So I will choose cobalt and then click ok. So my background color has been changed. So now let's start with the program of addition of two numbers. So now I'm typing I and T. As you can see as soon as I type a list of suggestions comes up. Now this is what we call the autocomplete feature which helps you out in writing code simply quicker and faster. Okay so you just need to type the initials and press enter. Then continue with the code and A comma b comma c equals to zero semicolon printf now again the autocomplete feature is helping me over here enter t w o 2 num sorry n u m b e r s numbers semicolon then scanf percent sorry percent d percent d comma ampersand a comma ampersand b then semicolon then adding c equals to a plus b printf sum is mod d comma c so now i have finished writing the code so i just need to compile and then run it so in order to compile and run i've got the compile and run option on the standard toolbar and the shortcut of this is the f9 key so you can press this button or press F9. So pressing the button over here. So it's getting compiled and here is my output where I can type two numbers. I'm typing here 2, sorry, 20 and 10. Press enter. And so I have received the desired output. So this is what you have for today. Thanks for watching our video. And please subscribe our channel for further more videos on the software. Thank you.